All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, it's almost five o'clock here in Utah time, and uh, though technically we would have until 9:36 Utah time when the moon will, the strawberry super moon will rise over the eastern mountains. Uh, I'm, you know, if the other prophecies of the prophets as well as Nelson dying happen, great. All four prophecy being fulfilled. But, uh, yeah, it's important to realize that both the signs in the heavens and the thunderstorm fulfilling Elijah, the story of Elijah, came to pass. And, uh, the storm has passed by my area now, and so uh, now we wait for the strawberry moon. Strawberry moons forever. Wrong strawberries. And, uh, and so, yes, I was hoping that it would include the prophecies for the destruction of the church, which can only happen with the deaths of all the prophets because of the way Brigham Young changed it from Joseph Smith. Uh, or at least have only six prophets remaining because you need seven to form a quorum. And if you can't form a quorum, according to the laws with the Articles of Incorporation, the church has to disincorporate. And even though the religion will just have the quorum of 70, the general quorum of 70, with the seven presidents meet, and, and they'll appoint apostles so that they can form a quorum, which they only need to do one guy, and then that that seven quorum could then meet and appoint the president of the church who then can set things back in motion. But according to law, they can't utilize that process to keep the church going because the Articles of Incorporation do not specify that process. <clears throat> it's going to be a technicality, but the church has been disincorporated before. Edmunds Tucker Act. And so, uh, yeah, if it happens, great, scripture is true, isn't that awesome? If not, scripture and signs in the heavens still happened for the Elijah story for today. Uh, you must also understand that De Deuteronomy uh, chapter 18, there at the end, uh, talking about uh, the uh, latter-day Christ whom uh, who's like Moses because Moses is a Christ to the Jews and so even if you're a Christian you need to understand other religions you can't impose Christianity on other religions and uh, nonetheless that's what they do Mormons do it too as Mormons even impose Mormonism on Christianity. Take Jesus of the Gospels, for example. <clears throat> That's not our God. But uh, I've been teaching how the stories from the Bible, both Old and New Testament Gospels, are not history. They're prophecy of the Latter-day Messiah. Thus Elijah didn't happen, even though it's in the book of Kings, which is a separate book, which when you do get to a specific king that we have found records for, yes, it's now history. But as is the custom, and uh, uh, in, in the New Testament, it's referred to as endless genealogies, uh, it's that concept where 
the kings of Israel had to solidify their justification for the throne, even though they were tributary kings, to give a mythological line of descent, which is actual prophecy rather than history. And so that's what you see in the first half, and then some, because it's uh, Elijah with the priests of Baal is First Kings chapter 18. And so uh, you've got the first two books of Kings called Samuel that are all fictitious. So yes, even Samuel with Eli in the temple with his two sons having sex in the wrong room of the temple. I did that video the other day. And I've referred to it in previous videos long, long ago. As uh, I think we're getting near 4,000, or have we passed 4,000 videos total? It's going to be a little complicated because since uh, I started up after the YouTube ban because I exposed the church for their uh, sex slavery and sex trafficking due to the the uh, sealing ceremony that still has the wording of women being property to their husband, which is why the covenant of obedience had women obeying their husband, because she's property. It's still in the sealing. But uh, nope, Nelson was hoping to deceive you guys through that process. And so uh, I've gone over trying to teach you and educate you on how to identify scriptures as prophecies and giving you examples when I see them come up, as today was uh, another example. And, uh, and so I've been right. I just keep hoping to get to Zion. That is the goal. And it's frustrating because Mormons want Zion, but there are too many Mormons who still think that Zion is going back to Missouri. Although I've done the video talking about how there's Mormons now who think it's going to be a hybrid. Some go on a secret mission to Missouri, whereas the rest stay here in Utah. not founded in scripture, not founded in prophecy. You have to dismiss it. That's, that's just, you're not learning from me if you still cling to false beliefs, to the misinformation and disinformation of Mormon myth and speculation. You can't do that. That's not science-based. So it's the signs in the heavens, science of astronomy. The stories, well, I have to interpret the stories and match them to today. It's a little more complicated, but when they have signs in the heavens associated with them, like Samson, the sun king, with the three days of darkness, corresponding to the three deaths that occur in the stories. The one was the lion, for 21st of August, 2017. The second was his wife, who was burned, which became an annular eclipse in uh, 14 October, 2023. So we still have that one coming up. But again, I've used science. I already know, like the author of Samson knew, that that's when it's going to occur. So, I'm giving you prophecy right now. I'm revealing to you the signs in the heavens that are still yet to come. And then the third day of darkness was Samson dying at the temple, Bruce. <laughs> he put the building in the heading. Uh, it was the temple, Bruce. The Philistine temple. The great and abominable church's temple. Samson, the Sun King, 
conquers the Philistines by taking down their religion too. It's all part of the prophecy when you harmonize all of it together. And he knows this tactic because that's how he was superior to all others working on the original footnotes. Because he got to do half of Isaiah. I got to do all of it. Haha. Uh -huh. got to do Genesis and Isaiah and Matthew so yeah and a number of others but those are the the coveted ones that only the best of the best of the best of the best get to do and I told you all about that process but and so uh, as I had done the lunar eclipse patterns with the deaths of the prophets video and it was a long one. There, ever since Faust, I recognized the patterns. And I had to do supplements because I recognized the pattern with the 26th of May lunar eclipse. And found more. And I thought, oh, okay, three uh, thing, three messages from Orion, which corresponds now that I identified Elijah he had four barrels dumped on the altar three times. Three messages. And today was the third message. That's the day when we had the thunderstorms. From Zeus, or Yah in Semitic. <coughs> Done that video for you. So I'm trying to teach you all how to do it yourself so you don't rely on me the prophets of the church want you to rely on them because if you were to follow your own inspiration and then come out with a video saying well I think the church needs to spend their money different <laughs> they should give more to the poor I think they should allow women to speak more in conference. I think blacks should be put into the apostleship. Stuff like that. And you notice that those Mormons get in trouble by the church. Nemo's buddy, who is also doing videos, Nemo did the video, oh, he got called in to stake presidency for a disciplinary hearing. Yeah. It's because they think they know better than the prophets. I've done the video. They won't teach Mormons how to lead the church. And if you remember, the church came out last year and just gave out the Holy Grail of Mormonism. The handbook number one, which was coveted only for leaders in the church. And the church has been battling to keep it a secret. Gerald and Sandra Tanner got a hold of one of the newer editions back in the day and they published it online and the church sued them to have it taken down so that nobody can have access to it. But last year they shocked the world and released it. And I started to do videos exposing that you can be a Satan worshiper and not get punished in the church. You can have incest and pedophilia and not get in trouble in the church. Which, you know, that's why the bishops needed to be kept in check. And the whole protect LDS children movement from the bishop who got excommunicated because he thought he could tell the church how to run the church. How dare you protect LDS children? <laughs> you Mormons are not understanding. And then I need to do the video about the psychological warfare of excommunication in the church, but that's going to be a long, super long one. And I'm already at 15 minutes on this one. This is just to let you know I prophesied the truth. It came to pass. It happened. 
And according to Deuteronomy, chapter 18, you can listen to me. You can trust what I'm telling you. However, we know about the false prophet, don't we? Last year, for coronavirus, Nelson, a medical doctor, talked to China directly, found out how bad it is, found out it's transmitted by breathing, didn't come out and order Mormons to wear masks. He sent a member of the 70 to post it on the church news. He didn't come out himself in a video saying, wear your masks, Mormons. Stay home, stay safe. Nope. Uh, we're being forced to close the church. It's only going to be temporary. Yeah. Still in a pandemic. We got that Delta variant. It's taking out teens this time. Isn't that great? The first one was getting teens to spread it to the adults by going back to school. If you do not understand murder to get gain, what church have you been in? All Mormons know murder to get gain is bad. And so Nelson didn't warn Mormons to stay home and stay safe and to wear masks, keeping the church shut until it passed over. Does that ring any bells? Passover? Exodus? Moses? Creeping Death from Metallica. Oh, now you know Creeping Death from Metallica. <laughs> Metallica rocks. And Benson condemned Master of Puppets subtly in his To the Youth of the Noble Birthright. So that's definitely something that has to be in everybody's video li or mu music library. Essential. Not just for Master of Puppets, but there's also Leper Messiah. <laughs> and some other classics. But yeah, Nelson held coronavirus fasts to cure it. What happened? Oh, it got worse. People died. It wasn't cured. He had to do it twice. After the second one, yeah, he sort of gave up. By Thanksgiving, he tried a different tactic. As a medical doctor, I know how to heal. The healing power of gratitude to cure coronavirus. Oh, isn't that great? I can be grateful in my great amonies at fast and testimony meeting. I am grateful for coronavirus and the suffering it causes me. I know that the Lord wants this done to me, that I may be humble. <laughs> How much money did Nelson make off of your suffering? The deaths of people you know. Because we're over 3,000, which means everybody in Utah knows somebody who at least got coronavirus, have the long-haul symptoms, were hospitalized, or who are dead. Utah is a small place with just three million. So 3,000? Yeah, everybody knows somebody. You don't need to do the seven things to Kevin Bacon. The church made six billion with your tithing because of the readjustment of their investments that were exposed by the whistleblower that worked for Enzyme Peak Advisors. Remember him? I'm not letting you forget. They made money. It's called gain. 
people died following the prophet. That's murder. Just like the guy who drinks had his followers drink the Kool-Aid down in Jonestown. I think it was Brazil, wasn't it? Took him from San Francisco to Brazil. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Awesome song by Except. Following Nelson led to death, suffering, misery, hospitalization, loss of loved ones. If you'd followed me, you'd be safe. Deuteronomy chapter 18. That's the Jewish law, by the way. The Jews know to follow that. It's still our scripture as Mormons. We're actually supposed to be like the learning of the Jews, which is understood as the pre-captivity Jews, who were Israelites, as we are new Israelites, of whom Joseph Smith in 103.16 said, our Christ, who will be like Moses, will be a mortal man through the church, the great abominable church that murders Joseph and takes over. That anniversary, well, is it an anniversary or is it a remembrance? It's more of a remembrance rather than an anniversary. Sunday, the 27th of June. Yeah, church is silent. And I'm willing to bet that even if they find out about this video, they're still going to remain silent. They don't care about him. They use him to make money. That's what the church has done since Brigham Young. They use the Book of Mormon only to get people in to make Brigham Young's kingdom stronger, to get money become wealthier, to pay for all of his divorces, alimonies, child supports, <laughs> mansions, and yacht, <clears throat> which I think back in those days you could put a yacht on the Great Salt Lake. Not anymore. It's because we've got the prophesied drought, which was caused by the presidents of the church ordering the governors of Utah to obey them. And if you remember, Cox, Herbert, they're all working under the church. When Nelson came out and said, you know, oh, we're being forced to shut down, but it's only going to be temporary, Herbert heard that and forced the reopening so that Nelson can get the church back open. He fudged the numbers. I've been going over that with you. The elderly were segregated from the main numbers, so the deaths of the elderly need to be added to the home page. That's why we're over 3,000. But he's doing the shell game with you. And the news is going along with it because the news has to conform and comply. You know, Fox 13 News, Utah were the ones who exposed the six, million, six billion, but only because the church gave them the documents. <laughs> That's what the church wanted them to know. And so, yeah, it's not investigation by Fox News. It's all a little show, a shell game show. The news will not investigate the church. I do. I'm the only source, which is why YouTube has been ordered by the church to silence my videos so that you now see less than 50 rather than the thousands that I used to get. 
back under Travis Wayne Goodsell and then breakout videos on TWG. They were kind of pissed about the sex slavery and sex trafficking video I did on TWG. And so I don't know how long Mormons will be, what was the word, I can't remember, stuck between two opinions from Deuteronomy. Or was it, yeah, Deuteronomy. No, or was it Elijah? <laughs> if the Lord be, yeah, it's Elijah. Yeah, Elijah. <clears throat> so, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm trying to save your lives. I get ignored. I get death threats. I get hate comments. I get thumbs down. Ed Nelson, oh yeah, we'll follow you to our death. Church, yay. I died for the church. Now, okay. You don't want to go to Zion, huh? You don't want peace, safety, and refuge from the war. Our government has collapsed. Remember that constitution hanging by a single thread? It's gone. Democrats are spineless. Oh, Nancy Pelosi is starting a, a hearing on January 6th? How many months now? Why didn't they get rid of the filibuster so that they can just go through it? And why isn't Merrick Garland doing a, a, a RICO thing on all of those guys? And everybody who paid for it? Including the church? I just... Yeah, we have a failed system. And it's just going to get worse until something snaps and all hell breaks loose. And we're on the verge. We've seen it in action. The Me Too movement. Black Lives Matter movement. We're on the verge. Constitution's already destroyed. Despite Oaks not giving a Easter sermon, as everybody's criticizing him for not giving. It's already destroyed. Nelson was distracting. He was trying to turn you against Biden as president to say that it was illegitimate and that the deep state Dems are trying to destroy America. Because where was he talking about the Constitution under Trump? Yeah, he was supporting Trump. Just as they supported him with money, just as they supported Russia with money to destroy America. So again, Mormons, who are you following? Why are you hating me? You've got some serious contemplating some reading, pondering, and praying to do, because you're listening to the wrong spiritual witness.